Okay, today, ladies and gents, I'm going to show you a few more um, <clears throat> uh, mouse over photo effects for uh, for Zara web products. Uh, the one I want to show you today is the one I'm going to show you here, where you have a, a canted photo like this, and when you mouse over it, it pops up larger and uh, and straight. Yeah, so you can mouse over either of these and get your straight photos. So. I'm going to go ahead and close that and um, start a new document. And I'm going to go ahead and give it a, a light colored background again so that uh, some of these photos show up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and import a few photos. File, import. And it doesn't really matter uh, what I do. I'll just go ahead and bring in a couple of photos. Windmill photo and import. One other one doesn't really matter. Let's uh, do this one. All right, so I've got my two photos here that I'm going to use, and um, I want to give these kind of a, a Polaroid uh, a feel to them. So um, one thing I'm going to do is shorten these up a little bit. Uh, I'm going to do that by using the uh, the uh, crop tool, basically. And uh, grab this and I guess I shorten it up a bit in both directions like that. And here I'm going to do the more or less the same. Line it back up again so I can get them the same size. Um, crop tool again, and I'm just going to crop this one up to more or less level with the other one. All right. Uh, so now that I've done that, I am going to create a little white box that goes over the top of this. I know this is blue right now, but I'll change it to white. <clears throat> and move this to the back. And the idea here is to more or less give this kind of a, a bit of a white border with a bit more border at the bottom. So that's more or less the same amount of border on the top and the sides, and then the bottom stretch just a bit and that kind of gives it a, a Polaroid feel. I'm going to clone that, Control K, and move it over here to where this one is and Control B to move it to the back, line it up a little bit more and there we go, we have two things, two pictures that look more or less like Polaroid. So I'm going to go ahead and marquee select both of those, Con Control G to group them, do the same thing over here grab those two, control G to group them. Now I have one group on mouse over layer selected here, and there's another group on mouse over layer selected here. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is, uh, these are gonna go on pop-up layers. So to, I'm, first thing I need to do is create those layers. I'm gonna go ahead and click on one of these um, layers, like the mouse off layer, and say, click on new layer. And I'm gonna call this, uh, photo one, and I can go ahead and keep that one selected and do new layer and call it P-H-O-T-O -O two, photo two. All right, now I'm going to grab this, control uh, C for copy, and I've got this one too selected, so I'm gonna make that one photo two. Control, I'm gonna select the photo two layer, hit control shift V to paste in place, and now I don't want to mess with that one anymore. That one should stay just the way it is. So I'm going to hide it and lock that layer. And now I just have the one here. If I select it, I just have the one group on the mouse off layer. Here you can see I have one group on mouse off layer. I'm going to hit control C to copy it and then go to my photo one layer. Make sure I selected that layer and then hit control uh, shift V to paste in place. And you can see now I have one group lit on layer photo one. So that's great. I don't want to select that one anymore or, or mess with it. So I'm going to hide it and lock it. Now I just have my two on these layers. Now, first thing I want to do is I want to make these a bit smaller. And let's go with 75%, making sure that I have lock aspect ratio on that little padlock looking uh, icon there clicked on. Uh, when I do that, it will change the aspect for both of them. So 75% width, 75% height. I only have to fill it in once. Click it in, 
and there you go, it, it reduces 75%. I'm going to do the same here, 75%. You can change that to whatever you want, but 75% uh, I thought was, was fairly decent for this. And then I'm going to click on, whoops, did it too fast. In, uh, in Web Designer Pro, clicking on something that's a group twice uh, um, turns it into a, uh, uh, you can work on the on the group inside inside the group. So what I really want to do is show the rotation handles. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on the show rotation handles button. And I want to cant this just ever so slightly to one side. Here I want to do the same. So I'm going to show the rotation handles again. And I'm going to cant that one to the opposite side. Yeah. And uh, then, now that I have those canted, I want to link these to my pop-up layers. I'm going to select the first one, and this one was linked to needs to be linked to pop up, uh, photo one, to the pop-up layer photo one. So if I click on the link properties and go to the mouse over tab, show pop-up layer, and this was the first one, so I want it to link to photo one. Click on photo one, press apply, and that's done. Now I can click on this other one and show pop-up layer, photo two, apply. Hitting apply is very, very important. If you don't do that, okay. it's not going to work. Um, and then after that, then all you have to do is look at your, your uh, website and it works. Now, one other thing I wanna mention before I, I close out is that uh, when you link these things, the links are square. Okay, so even though I have this canted, this box represents the link around this thing. So if I even the space here, yeah, so if I go back to this one and show you the uh, preview it again, if I come down here and get close to it, you see I haven't actually touched it yet, it pops up. So you want to make sure you don't cant these too much, otherwise you get uh, really kind of odd activity going on. People saying, wait, I didn't even get close to it, and it, and it popped up. Um, so anyway, just something to be uh, conscious of, and uh, I hope you found that, um, found that useful, and uh, see you again here next time.